like to show you a trick, and it's a trick about a story. Like all good stories, it involves a book. I have the book here. This story is about some playing cards. And I'm going to give you some playing cards each. Uh, they're for you, Yui. And they're for you, Corinne. What I would like you to do is I'd like to give the cards a good shuffle, just to make sure that they're all random. Yeah? Excellent. And when you're happy, if you place the piles onto the table, and I'd like you to try and cut the cards into two equal piles. Fantastic. Expertly done. Next, I would like you to pick one of those piles and turn it face up. That's great. And uh, the face-up piles that you chose, I'd like you to swap. So, Corinne, give your face-up pile to Huey, and vice versa. Brilliant. Um, the next thing, a little bit tricky, is I'd like you to riffle shuffle the face-up and face-down piles together. Can you do that? Yep. Corinne, can you do that? Yeah. Have a go. Fantastic. It doesn't matter as long as it... That's fantastic. There's one more thing to do. Okay, and that's Corinne. Could you turn your pile completely over? And I'd like you to to shuffle it back into that pile there. Okay, you could do it exactly how you want. You can just push them in, you can riffle shuffle them. It's entirely up to you. Fantastic. That's it. Great stuff. So, before we start the story, let's just confirm what we've done. I've given you a pile of cards each, you both shuffled them. Mm -hmm. You then took them and cut them into two equal piles. You then turned one pile over. That pile you swapped. Those were then shuffled into the pile that you had faced down. And those piles were then shuffled into one another. We are left with one pile of cards. Okay, So we should have cards going up and down, up and down. This is fantastic. Now we come to the story. Do you remember the book? Yep. I'll read the first part of the story. The first part of the story says, there is a deck that was shuffled. Both agree? Mm -hmm. And there were 20 face, 25 face-up cards. Corinne, could you take those cards and count all the face-up cards for me and discard all the face-down cards here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, are we looking for one more? 24, 25, and the story is becoming true. This is fantastic. I'll read the next part of the story. It says, in the face-up pile that you have, there were 16 red cards. Could you count all 16 red cards for me and discard the rest of the cards here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This is fantastic. Everybody's getting excited. <laughs> We will read the next part of the story. The next part of the story tells me that in the face-up pile, all the black cards were spades. So if we move these cards out of the way, check to make sure that they're all spades for me. So we've got a spade, a spade, a spade, a spade. This is great, a spade. Oh dear, hold on. Uh, put them on there for the moment. I'm sure the rest are spades. This is fantastic. But can you see the small print here in the corner? Except for one card left and that's because the end of the story is always happy and we have the <laughs> seven of clubs. Thank you very much guys. Yay. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs>